everybody, you will do a mess though, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys of the Pines and Waterfall, and I'm going to show you guys how to get there, and what it looks like inside. So this is the same thing for the police, you go to the horde, go upstairs, and go upstairs again, and then you go um, the same way for the police. So here's your order hall for the police. And here's the order hall for the pilots. So it's called Portal to Sanctum of Light. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. So it's a very big, same thing for the priest. So it's called Light Hope Chapter, Sanctum of Light, Sanctuary. Alright, so here's the portal of, to go back to Dalaran so, and to uh, come out. And here's your NPC to upgrade your artifact knowledge. And then over here is a book. I think it tells you about your effect weapon. And here's your um your class gear to get for a level when you reach max level. And uh, over here is your class hall upgrades well to upgrade your stuff. It costs resources, and uh, you have a, a special thing. It's called Argent Steed. Grants access to the Argent char Charger Hitching Post once a day, allowing you to summon a charger, which allows you to perform launch of combat for a short duration. To get that, we need to go over here, and it spawns over here, and it goes in your bag. So Death Knight also has that too. And you get a buff called March of the Hollowed. It's magic, movement speed increased by 30%. The hollowed of the silver hand is empowered by the collective resolve of the following. Five minutes remaining. So uh, I think all buffs has that for the old horse. And also, uh, patterns. You have two ways on how to get to here. You get one in, uh, in Dalaran, and there's a second way of how to get here too. So when you uh, go to the uh, the Eastern Kingdoms, you fly to Life's Hope Chapel, and uh, you go over here inside this building, and here's a secret door of how to get inside. So now you parents have two ways on how to get there. So one inside the Dalaran, and go to the Eastern Kingdoms, fly, fly to Life's Hope Chapel. And go inside this building and go inside the secret door. So only paladins can enter here, so no other classes can uh, come here. Only paladins. Alright, so moving on. So we got uh, the chest with spawns here. This is after you're doing your mythic dungeons for the key. And you got your map. For doing your missions, your bodyguards, and choosing a a zone to cross in. Now over here is your. All right, so we got some target dummies. One over here is healing. The other one tanking, and then over here is your DPS to test your uh, tanking, DPS, and healing. And you got your your paladin or your paladin recruiter. I mean your um to rec your uh civil hand officer to recruit your for missions. And then over here inside this gate, uh, there's really nothing over here. Is that yeah, there's no nothing over here. But over here is your uh no uh. Nothing over here, but there is an NPC that has your class to test your abilities or to upgrade if you're not max level. Now over here we got a couple of famous paladin heroes. So we got the first one is if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So we got General Lena. Stump, Stump Pike, a stalwart combat and defender of justice, fallen defending her home from the foul demons of the Burn Legion, Asroth, 
is darker purple passing. So that's one hero. The second hero is Hallowed, Tyrion Fordring. Friend, brother, mentor, Hallowed Fordring was a paragon of the light. An example of what all presents strive to be. May his spirit guide us in the dark days to come. So, he he died from your piloting uh, campaign. And then here's another one. We got General Tiran. None sacrifice more than the high general. May, may we always walk in his path so we too might safeguard the incident as he did by blood and honor we so. And then here's another one. We got Uthor, the Lightbringer, first pardon, father of the original order of the Silver Hand, guiding light for all. May we honor his legacy in all that we do. So here's the statues of the look like, and over here is Lady Mara Four Dragon, Lady Mara Four Dragon, High Clarice of Stormwind. Patron of the refugees who fled to another one after the first war. She was the bright mother of our future and she rest the light. And then we got another one. Uh, his name is Chrome Dawn Hammer. His leg legendary shining hammer guided countless incidents to safety during the rise of the scourge of Lodoran. May he finally rest at peace. And then we got two more. Uh, his name is Harlan Ale Alexander Morgan, the Atchenbringer. The, begin the beginning of a legend still spoken of his hushed whispers. His memory will never be forget forgotten, just as the forces of darkness will never forget his blade. So he's the uh, NPC that wielded the Atchenbringer. And then finally, uh, Victor Mawad, all, uh, always soft, soft to protect those who could, uh, hang on, uh, who could protect themselves. Mawad made the ultimate sacrifice in Jaina to save one of the, uh, one of, uh, our own. So, those are all the NPCs that died in uh, World of Warcraft. And now, if you go over here, these are about, these are like all the NPCs sitting on benches. It almost looks like you're going to church and you have to sit down. But look how huge this is. It's so like big. You got like lights over here. So this is real looks this really looks like a church building because there's like a bunch of people sitting down ready to uh, go to church. And now over here is your altar of ancient kings to uh to, for, to choose your artifact weapons and your appearances so this is where you go to um to get your your uh to upgrade your um weapon and the skins too and uh you can also mount in here too or well, actually you can just uh use the follow zones and I believe that's everything if I can remember. Oh, here's your um paladin trainer over here. Need something? So if you want to enter the pool guns, just ask her. Farewell. And I think that's everything I have to say about the um paladin order hall. So this is like very, very big. It's a lot bigger than the priest order hall. And you have like two ways on how to get here. One in Dalaran, and the second is in the Eastern Kingdom for the Light of the Chapel. And I believe that's all I have to say on how to get here and what it looks like. Uh, yeah. So there you guys have it. This is your um, Paladin Order Hall. So. Here's your NPC to upgrade your off of weapon knowledge, and, uh, yeah, that's everything I have to say for the order hall for the paladin, so, 
um yeah so if you guys want to see more of these in the future i'll try to make more of them more of these videos for you guys to check out and if you guys never played a paladin before this is this video will show you uh, how it looks like and how to get there and it's very cool it's it has good um, NPCs like the lore and how they uh, died and how they uh, survive or well, actually not survive but how they um, like help us and stuff so anyways guys I'm going to be in this video and I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time see ya Hello everybody, you will do a master, and thank you very much for watching this video. So, uh, yeah, this uh, Paladin Order Hall is for you, and this is how you get here, and this is what it looks like inside. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now my next one is going to be doing the shaman, so stay tuned for that one. So I'm going to be in this video. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, follow me at Twitter, and give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you give me some more questions for my next Q&A. You can post them in the comments below or on my Twitter, and I'll get them ready for my next Q&A video. So anyways guys, I'm going to be in this video, and I'll see you guys next time on my next video. See ya!